Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about leukoplakia. WHO defined leukoplakia as a clinical white patch that cannot be characterized clinically or pathologically as any other disease. Etiology, most common cause is smoking and tobacco chewing. Alcohol abuse with smoking increases the risk of leukoplakia. And chronic trauma due to ill-fitting denture or cheek bites can also lead to leukoplakia. It may also be associated with some mucous fibrosis, hyperplastic candidiasis or plumber vinson syndrome. Site most commonly involved are buccal mucosa, oral commissures, floor of mouth, tongue and gingivobuccal sulcus. This diagram shows the leukoplakia on the buccal mucosa. Age and sex. Leukoplakia most commonly occur in fourth decade of life. Males, they are two to three times more prone to development of leukoplakia than females. And clinical types, it can be homogeneous, nodular or erosive. In homogeneous type, there are smooth or wrinkled white patches and homogeneous type is less commonly associated with malignancy and in nodular type there are white patches or nodules on an arrhythmatous base and erosive also known as erythroleukoplakia in this a leukoplakia is interspersed with erythroplakia and it has erosions and fissures histology 25% of leukoplakia may show epithelial dysplasia from mild to severe degree and higher the grades of dysplasia more are the chances of it going into malignant changes and the malignant potential 1 to 17.5 percent of the leukoplakia they can develop into any malignancy on an average 5 percent they become malignant and the malignant potential varies according to the site and type of leukoplakia and duration of the follow-up management uh, some uh, leukoplakias they disappear spontaneously if the causative agent is removed and uh, in lesions with there is a higher potential for malignant change a biopsy is taken to rule out any malignancy and in suspicious small lesions surgical excision or ablation with laser or cryotherapy can be done thank you